Good morning, everybody. I'm very happy to be here and uh, to speak to you this morning. I've been spending already a splendid and stunning week in New York attending the U Summit, starting with the U Summit, then the NBS track last Sunday, um, the Climate Summit, and finally the SDG Summit, uh, including various side events. And I have to say it was really, really amazing for me, inspiring and impressing that um, I got the feeling that the um, ideas of um, ecosystem restoration, of nature-based solutions, of um, protecting biodiversity has somehow been discovered by the international community, especially by the climate community. Um, I think um, um, frightening events that have been happening, like the forest fires and also the IPBES report, the uh, uh, IPCC reports that have been coming up earlier this year, have been um, paving the way for this development. But uh, I'm really, um, really impressed that um, uh, the climate change community has now um, learned and understood and seems to be very interested in uh, learning more and working more on nature-based solutions and on ecosystem uh, des uh, restoration as they are both means for adaptation and mitigation of the negative impacts of climate change. Yeah, first of all, it's already a great success that, that the UN decade was adopted. After a century of degradation, a decade of restoration is the least to avoid the uh, total collapse of Earth equilibrium. I've mentioned the recent reports already that uh, gave an alarming picture on the ecosystems and the recently launched uh, IPCC report on oceans two days ago again gave me great concerns. Um, the fact um, that both of the reports, or all of the reports refer to each other show that the topics are interconnected and therefore a solution for both the nature emergency and the climate emergency must be found and ecosystem restoration is the one solution at hand. I think the alleg allegory of the marathon fits very well for this decade. For both, one needs power and endurance and power of will and commitment. And for both, one needs training and well preparation. And for both, one needs front runners and pacemakers. So Germany is proud of having been among the pacemakers and the front runners for the forest and landscape restoration through our support for the Bonn Challenge. Uh, that was in the very heart of all these activities. The success of this initiative is prevailing. Just a week ago, our safe secretary launched the ECA 30 in one of the side events, which is a joint effort by Europe, the Caucasus, and, and uh, Central Asia to contribute commonly to the Bonn Challenge with 30 million hectares by 2030. And I find it very um, encouraging that more and more regions after Middle and Southern America and Africa are now obviously seeing a merit in jointly striving for a target. The UN Decade on Restoration addresses all ecosystems, and this is a good starting point for communication and awareness raising, as the main message can be understood easily by everyone and was mentioned also from uh, our young leader here, natures and habitats have to return healthy again. The decade comes in the right moment. We are just ahead of the super year 2020 with its most important event in Kunming in October 2020 and the following UNFCC COP in Glasgow uh, where both where both uh, con conventions need to define their strategies for the upcoming decade and uh, have to come up with an ambitious framework for uh, the decades to come. And I cannot imagine the CBD framework uh, without a strong link to the UN decade and vice versa. And finally, coming back to the metaphor of the pacemaker, in a marathon, they have an extremely important role for a certain period of the, ro of the race. The pacemakers never run the whole distance of uh, 42 uh, kilometers, 
but the one who wants to win, of course, must stay the course. I have the vision that together we reach the goal in an altered society, as an altered society. Nowadays, there is a lot of discussion about transform transformational <laughs> change and uh, the rec restoration of ecosystems hope hopefully will have positive impacts for people and both their livelihood. The UN Decade on Ecosystem Restoration is a great opportunity to make this transformational change a reality. I will be very interested to listen to the next panel dealing with the potential 2030 vision for the decade. And I thank GLF for uh, taking up this important topic and I'm very happy to announce that the government of Germany will fully support GLF further in its role of being the key counterpart for the upcoming UN decade. Thank you very much.